Hi everybody, welcome to my video about ibuprofen. This one is meant for patient, it's to the point and short. I also have one for professionals, which is more in-depth. Make sure to check that one out in the description. And let's get started. So first I want to start off with a little disclaimer. Uh, this video is purely meant for informational purposes and is not medical advice. If you want it, please contact your own doctor. So let's get into the video. Um, ibuprofen is, uh, that's the generic name, and common brand names are Brufen, Advil, Maltrin, or Neurofen. It's available on tablets, capsules, druggies, and suspension, and it's e easily available. When do you use ibuprofen? Uh, when you have a fever, and a common cold, or the flu, or when you have pain, in any form of pain, like headaches, migraines, muscle strains, arthrosis, toothache, menstruational pains, doesn't matter. Um, it will help you in any case. How do you use it? Uh, preferably on an empty stomach, then it works fastest. Wait between four to six hours between doses, and for children, at least six. How long can you use it until your complaints are over? If this takes more than two weeks, please make sure to contact your doctor because maybe other medication might be more suitable for you. Uh, when using it for a headache, make sure to only do so in the short term, so maximum three to four weeks, otherwise it may increase your headaches. And if you use it for migraines, make sure to only do so when you have a migraine attack. And if you have more than two attacks each month, it is, might also be a reason to contact your doctor. Regarding safety, um, <laughs> let me move my head. Regarding safety, um, Ibuprofen may lead to vertigo, dizziness, or fatigue as side effects. If you're experiencing those, it's not safe to drive, so please don't do so. If you aren't, it's perfectly safe to drive with ibuprofen. Um, ibuprofen also may lead to um, stomach complaints. Alcohol can do the same. So uh, test what the effect of alcohol and ibuprofen is on you. Start with little amounts, so it goes all right. Uh, you may increase to a moderate consumption. Regarding food, there are no restrictions. Here you can combine ibuprofen with any type of food. What dosage should you use? Um, I always use the lowest possible dose, which still is effective. Uh, this will minimize your side effects. So when you're using it for pain and fever, uh, you can use uh, in adults and children older than 12 or more than 40 kilograms, 400 milligrams at a time, and add 2 to 400 every 4 to 6 hours is necessary to a maximum of 1200 milligrams. For children older than 3 months, um, you can use 20 to 30 milligrams per kilogram divided over 3 to 4 doses for a maximum of 3 to 4 days. Um, regarding joints and disorders, um, in adults you can use 1200 to 1600 milligrams per day in 3 to 4 doses and in severe cases even 2400 uh, in 4 doses. For children older than 2 years you can use to maximum of 20 milligrams per kilogram in 3 to 4 doses. And if you're using it for migraine, uh, 400 milligrams for adults every four to six hours to a maximum of 1200 milligrams and for children we have this specific scheme uh, check it out if you want to prescribe it for your child so let's get to the side effects uh, ibuprofen has a lot of side effects um, very often more than 10 percent of all cases we see diarrhea dyspepsia often we see headaches dizziness nausea constipation or fatigue. Um, if you think you might be experiencing one of these, please uh, reach a prescription or contact your doctor. And lastly, pregnancies and lactation. Uh, ibuprofen is not safe to use uh, while pregnant, especially in your third uh, or first trimester. Uh, only use in the first one under strict indication of your doctor and in the third it's uh, strictly forbidden to use. Regarding lactation, ibuprofen passes through in the breast milk, but it's safe to use. However, we, we recommend to only use the lowest doses for the shortest amount of time. This was the brief overview of ibuprofen. If you have any questions, please uh, make sure to ask them. And otherwise, check out the more in-depth version for professionals. Thank you.